Hello there and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to explain you how to add lights to the models you've made in Google SketchUp. So before I start I'll actually shortly explain you uh, what this series, which I guess you could call it, is about. Um, well I've been asked by Render NXT to make video tutorials in which I will explain how to use some of the features of that render program because as you probably know I like to design houses in Google SketchUp and the designs of those houses are actually made in Google SketchUp but the end result, those cool realistic looking pictures of the buildings are made using our render NXT and that's like a totally different um, or separate program actually which you can access from in uh, Google SketchUp but anyways, um, yeah, that's a program which I'll be making these tutorials for um, in this series I'll explain you how to use this render program and I know that many of you, uh, many of you like to watch uh, my Google SketchUp speed builds uh, and I must say that this is something totally different because I will go way more in depth into the program and it will be way more educational and more educational actually than entertaining. Uh, don't worry though because I'll continue to make those Google SketchUp videos or the Google SketchUp speed builds which are actually um, entertaining for you to watch and I'm actually planning on making many more of those uh, than I used to do before. Anyways, these tutorial videos are just something extra and also for the users of our render NXT who will in this way be able to understand the program better. Um, the fact that it is for their uh, users as well is actually um, the reason that it will be way more educational as well because it will be used by like architects and stuff which means that um, it has to be more educational as well. Um, so in every video I will at least, uh, or at least in almost every video I think, I'll use a model that I've created to explain something. So um, this might be interesting for you if you would like to see me creating something or so, uh, to see something that I've created already because I will not show how I created it. But um, yeah, that might be entertaining for you as well. But anyways, that was just a quick uh, explanation behind this series. Now I'll start explaining how to add lights in your model in Google SketchUp because that is what this tutorial is about actually. Here you see a model that I've made and it's a model um, by daylight as you can see and it's well lit I think. As you can see here you see the render of it but um, here you see the model by night and I think it could use some lights to be honest. So uh, let's do that. Adding lights to your model is pretty simple actually. Um, you first have to go to this icon on the iRender uh, NXT interface. I've decided to put it between the rest of my Google SketchUp interface. Maybe it's somewhere else, but um, anyways, if you click on that icon, um, you will see this menu pop up. This menu shows you many different kinds of light, as you can see, um, which you can use in your model. As you can see, the lights are divided into several categories like uh, ceiling lights, floor lights, table lights, point lights, and so on. So let's say you would like to add a ceiling light to your model, then you can click on it, and then you choose between two sorts of ceiling lights, a round and a rectangular one. I've decided to go for the rectangular one um, and then you can also size uh, the light in the way or to the size you would like it to be. The intensity and the color of the light can be changed as well. The lighting channel option is something I'll explain in a later tutorial so there's no need to worry about that right now. Um, so um, if you'd like to know something about it I'll upload another tutorial about it very soon. Um, and as you can see here, this last option is to choose whether you want to place one light or several ones uh, of the light uh, you've selected or you've just uh, modified actually. So then you click on create slash place and now you see it in your model. So now it's time to decide where you want to place the light and though it's called a ceiling light, this light can actually be placed on the walls and the floor as well. So um, just put it anywhere you want, just, I would make sure that it is uh, attached to a wall somewhere um, as you can see over here. So when you find the location you want the light to be, then you're done, you just click and then the light has been added to your model. So now it's time to actually render the image and see what the impact of it is when we actually have like the outdoor settings uh, on dark so no sun or almost no sun and no sky and then mainly uh, light so let's see uh, what it looks like. 
So this is what the uh, image looks like right now uh, using the lights and having the daylight actually turned off or at least very low. And as you can see the lights do have a very good impact on the image and it makes the image way brighter or at least the interior of the building way brighter which is what we want. So um, I think we succeeded but let's uh, try adding another light as well. So this time I'd like to add a floor light to our model. So I'm going back to the icon we've started with opening the uh, light menu. And I'm uh, changing the options again the way I would like the light to look like. And now it's time to add the uh, light into the model. So I'm just placing it over here and now it's time to render the image. So uh, let's see what it looks like. Next to adding pre-made lights you can also make your own lights. You can do this by first modeling a light making it look the way you want it to look. Then right click on the surface of the light that you've just created that you would like to be luminous. Select I render NXT and then select object properties. A menu pops up. Here you have to tick the option treat as light. Furthermore you can change the intensity of the light. The other options don't really matter that much so we can ignore them for now. Now it's time to render the image again and see what the final end result is. So that's it, that's how you add lights to your model in Google SketchUp using iRender NXT. So as you can see here is the final render of the uh, room that I've built um, for this uh, tutorial. As you can see I've used some pre-made lights and a light I've designed myself which you just saw me doing. It might be kind of a strange shape but I did that so you can see that you can actually turn anything into a light if you actually use that uh, select option and then um, use as light um, which I just explained. If you do that you can actually turn any object into something that um, yeah, creates light. So as you can see this is the picture of the room and then by night time but still uh, the room is perfectly lit because of the light. So um, it's a really cool feature and you can really make your model look uh, much better using this. So anyways, I hope I helped you with this tutorial on how to add lights in uh, Google SketchUp using iRender NXT. Uh, and I hope to see you back in another tutorial. Bye.